Dr. Sands, you are a thoracic oncologist, quite a title. I want to start with you because this topic of uh, small cell lung cancer is very hopeful because you say there's new hope for patients with this small cell lung cancer. Could you tell me about the hope? That's right. So small cell lung cancer tends to be a more aggressive kind of lung cancer in general. It's about 13 to 15 percent of all lung cancers. And with it being more aggressive, the initial treatment tends to work very well, but after that, it's a much more challenging diagnosis. Now, there are other treatments, and it's worth seeing a specialist about them, but we now have a new class of drugs called T-cell engagers. Now, T-cells are a part of the immune system, so it's grabbing the T-cells, the immune system, and grabbing the cancer cells and pulling them together, and that creates this immune response. So it essentially introduces the immune system to the cancer so that the immune system can go out and keep finding the cancer and fighting it and killing it. And so the immune system then becomes an army to attack the cancer. And this, in some people, can work for years, which is just really wonderful to see. I'm going to introduce Mater here just real quickly because I understand she's a young person. She's in her 60s, but she was diagnosed with small cell lung cancer. Mater, would you like to speak on your experience? I'd be happy to, Balder. I was diagnosed in 2018, which makes August 5th this year my cancer anniversary, the anniversary of when I was diagnosed. And I was diagnosed with extensive small cell, which means there was metastases outside of my lung. I had a lung tumor and a liver tumor. After being treated with in, uh, chemotherapy and radiation, my lung is clear and the tumor, in, I'm sorry, my liver is clear and the tumor in my lung is shrunk appreciatively and stayed in remission or stable for five and a half years. I am Congratulations. Thank you. And I'm so happy to be here because I feel like I can give hope to people being newly diagnosed. Well, you're just sharing is hope all by itself. I'm going to talk to you, Dr. Uh, Sands. Is her story the, the, the norm now, or is it unique? Well, her story is particularly exceptional, given that it was chemotherapy alone. So she hadn't gotten the immunotherapy, by what she's describing, hadn't gotten immunotherapy, as um, she said that her diagnosis was six months before that was available in standard of care at that time. Now, immunotherapy in the first line, meaning the first treatment that someone gets, is typically chemotherapy and immunotherapy. And just to make an analogy, that immunotherapy is kind of like swinging the bat for a home run. It's swinging the bat as hard as you can, and in many cases, it doesn't work, unfortunately. But when it does, knock the ball out of the park, national headlines, home run, win the game. So for that subset of individuals that get this exceptional response to that initial immunotherapy, in some cases, future treatments might not be necessary, which is amazing to say. But the majority of patients have cancer grow at some point after that initial treatment. And this new T-cell engager class of drugs is kind of like an, a, another swing of the bat for a home run. It's getting another shot at trying to hit the ball out of the park. And, and so it's exciting to see some people getting years of disease control in a setting where in most cases, if there are treatments working, they're working for months, not years. I'd love to talk with you more about this topic because it seems like such a rich topic, but I know the people that, that even think they have this are rejoicing. Where do they find out more online? They can go to lcfamerica.org. That's Lung, Lung Cancer Foundation of America. It's a fantastic organization. They can get more information. They can get, get help learning the right questions to ask their doctors. Well, thank you so very much, Maida, for being here to share that information with my audience. You are a success by yourself. Thank and you. And Dr. Sands, I want to thank you for the work that you do to bring people like Maida to my audience. Have a great day, both you of you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBeebeShow.com and YouTube.com slash Show. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. 
Subscribe to youtube.com slash Show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.